Hey guys, welcome to the John Stevens Jr. Made It Through Monday live stream show. I'm at the beautiful Davisdale Kitchen in Lebanon, Indiana. We hope that you'll be joining us for another hour of live music. We'll be playing about eight songs tonight. We're here to make your Monday a little bit better, whether you're watching on Facebook or whether you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on X, we are glad that you join us. And some of you might be, some of you might be watching on the replay. So thank you for joining us tonight. Hey, I'm going to do one thing too because I'm going to try, I'm going to try real quick to find this, and then I'm going to put it on my threads on Instagram. So hang on, watch this little trick. You guys know what to do right now. You're all jumping in the chat. You guys are saying hi to each other. I love that. So let me see here if I can share, copy that link. Now, look at here, I'm going to go to my threads on Instagram. This technology, it wears me out. It wears me out. Okay, here we go. There's my Instagram. Now get to my threads. There it is. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Da, 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 da. Uh, 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 uh. It won't let me do it. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Hang on. Hang on. There's where I want to. I couldn't get my way to copy and paste my, my link. We are in. All right, we're on threads on Instagram too. Guys, welcome to the John Stevens Jr. Made It Through Monday live stream show. I am John Stevens. Julie is up in Mulberry. We're going to say hi to her in a bit. My bantering partner, Brene Davis, is down here. Hopefully, she'll be good tonight. You never know what's going on. Everybody's in the chat jumping in and saying hi. We appreciate you joining us wherever you're watching from. Uh, everybody's just kind of saying hi, and I'm just kind of waiting for about 10 more seconds before I start playing the first song. We've got eight of them tonight. We're going to play uh, four of my songs that you guys requested, four of uh, your cover songs you requested. I'm going to let you know where I'm going to be performing this week. Busy schedule towards the tail end of the week. And uh, we got some pictures to share with you. A little Chris Stapleton for you out of the gates. Now, this song is for my buddy David Robbins. Now, David, is he was from Zionsville originally, and I just threw my pick down. Hang on. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. I'm back. And uh, he checked in last week from Nashville, Tennessee, but he's usually out in Los Angeles, California. But David wanted to hear a little uh, Chris Stapleton or Luke Bryan, he said. So I picked a Chris Stapleton song for him. One of my favorites, a little tune called Fire Away. Honey, load up your questions and pick up your sticks and And pretend I'm a shelter for heartaches who don't have a home. Choose the words that cut like a razor. And all I can say is fine. Show me what you got, honey, I'm not afraid. Rear back and take aim. And fire away. I just love songs like this. This kind of puts you in a trance, doesn't it? Yep. Well, I wish I could say. But I've never been here before But you know and I know That I always come back for more Your love might just be my damnation But I'll cry to my grave Show me what you got, honey, I'm not afraid. 
rear back and take aim and just fire away. Take your best shot, show me what you got, honey, I ain't afraid. Rear back and take aim. And fire away. Fire away. Fire away. Just fire away. Little Chris Stapleton from my buddy David Robbins, who was watching last week in Nashville, Tennessee. David gets all over the place. But uh, thank you guys for joining us again. Like I said, whether you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, X, or on Threads on Instagram, or you're watching on the replay, thank you for joining us for another Made It Through Monday live stream show. It's that time of the show where I ask a favor of you. Will you guys let me know where you're watching from? I already checked in at the very beginning. I'm watching from right here at the Davisdale Kitchen in Lebanon, Indiana. Where are you guys watching from? We'd love to know if you're watching from out of the country, like my friend Betty is. She joins us from the Philippines each week. But if you're watching from out of the state, we'd like to know where you're watching from. So make sure and check in. It's check-in and sharing time. Not only do we ask for you to check in, we ask that you share this video, if you would, with some of your friends. Tag somebody who's not with us tonight. Share it in some of your groups so more people can get to see this and find out about our show on Monday nights. We appreciate your help. And one more favor, don't forget to smash the like and love button. We appreciate that. And if you're on YouTube, make sure and subscribe to my channel. Have I got everything said I need to, Brene? Okay, Brene is my bantering partner. We're going to say hi to her in just a little bit. But I'm going to jump in the chat and see who's all out there. I got to go all the way back to the back. Begin. you guys are doing fantastic. Don Brown and Pete have joined us. Larry Davis, Michael Stevens, Chris Smith. Of course, there's Miss Mindy. She got her hair done last week. She was a little bit late to the party, but she's here on time tonight. But of course, Brene. Hi, Serena. Aunt Teresa, how Aunt Teresa, I got a picture for you tonight. Aunt Teresa sent me something special in the mail. I'm going to show you what she sent me in the mail here after bed. That's going to be fun. Becky Boggs, how are you? Peg Heck Martin, watching from 900 East in Lafayette. We love that check-in out there. Gretchen Lowe, there's my friend Gretchen up in Lafayette. Hi, Gretchen. We're going to be doing a private party for Gretchen in May, I believe is one of this. We do a lot of private shows. If you guys, if you guys would like to have uh, John Stevens come to do your private event this summer, get in touch with me. We can work something like that out, that's for sure. Let me see if there's some new Becky Pettit down the street. Becky, thank you for hitting my virtual tip jar. I'm going to say thanks again. Mark Schmidt. Yeah, we're coming to Jasper this week. He's checking in. He wants to know, are you familiar with canned heat, Brene? Canned heat? Yeah. Dana accused me of sounding like canned heat on one of the songs I was singing in the studio. So he said, you got to give me some more. You sounded like canned heat. So he's kind of challenged me. And so is Mr. Schmidt out there. I'll talk to you Thursday night down there in... Um, um, Jasper, Mr. Schmidt. Bad Betty's in the house. Hope you're feeling better, Bad Betty. Heike, looky there. Check it out. Heike has joined us from Germany. That is awesome. See, we appreciate that. Heike, thank you so much. Heike hit my virtual tip jar last week, too. Charlie Woodruff, I'm trying to get through these. I hope I'm not skipping over everybody I haven't said hi to. Mark Smith, I think I said hi to you. I think Gary Fig joined us on YouTube, it looks like, out there. We appreciate that. Okay, I'm hustling, guys. Hey, there's Valerie and Michael over there in the Plainfield area. Or for Wyand from up in Michigan. I, I'm trying to get through here without forgetting somebody. I think I have I done it. Have I done it? I can't get to but you guys are filling up. There's DJ. I haven't mentioned his name and Donna Davis. Hang on, did I miss one? Mike Westerfield, David Maxwell. There's David Robbins. You are welcome. David requested a little Chris Stapleton and a little bit of uh, Luke Bryan, so we gave him some Stapleton. All right, guys. I got down to the bottom. Woo. All right. Well, let's get on to the next song before this uh, takes too much time without singing songs because we'll be in John Stevens' overtime. We tried to keep this show to one hour, and uh, as long as I do more singing and less of this, 
we usually make it, so I better get to singing. This is a song that's going to be on my new album. I'm really proud of this song, and we always talk about this from Brene and I grew up. Brene was a year behind me in school, and we we went to the same high school. We graduated in 1990 in those special years. But we talked about when we were in high school, we used to cruise up and down the strip in our cars and talked about Boone's Farm Wine and Minnie Miller. Beer. Now, my mom is watching this show, and she's probably going to wonder what why would we be talking about that in high school, you know? Did you did you drink some of that in high school? Drink what? Oh. She's sworn to secrecy. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Well, my buddy Eric Kogrove, it was not easy. Larry Weaver was a bad influence. But Eric Kogrove, his dad owned the the, uh, the beer distributorship, so we had keys to the warehouse. So I always got a little something, something. Hope I haven't left hopefully there's a statue of limitations on that. So Okay, okay, okay. But a little song I'm real proud for you. For you guys and excited for you to hear this song off the new album. It's a tune called Those Were the Days. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Today's fun days, too. All right. Hey, it's that time of the show where we're going to toss it north. We're going to toss it north all the way up 
to Mulberry, Indiana, where my good friend Miss Julie is sitting in there in the co-producer's chair, pulling up all your comments and pulling up the song titles for us when they come up. Julie, why don't you say hi to everybody up there in Mulberry real quick? Hi, everybody. Hope everyone's having a great evening. You had a great Monday. It's a beautiful sunny day out there. Just want to throw out some reminders for you. Remember to share, 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 share to your groups, share to your page, tag a friend. We want to get John's music out there everywhere. And also invite your friends to follow John. We want to get his numbers up to four or 5,000. So let's do him a favor and do that. All right. Enjoy the rest of the wonderful music that's coming your way all right john hope you're ready I'm throwing it back at you ready or not hey i just looked down and i saw something kind of cool here i went to my john stevens jr i don't know if you guys can see this i'm gonna put that up look there i've never seen that before on my profile pic it's got a red circle around it it says live I have never seen that. So I hope you guys are following this John Stevens Jr. Music Facebook page. And I've never seen that before. I don't know if that's a new thing. Facebook changes things on us all the time. But that's pretty cool. I'm a, hey, I'm just going to push. You want to push this button? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Nothing, nothing. But it's got a red circle and says live. That's never, I've never noticed that before. But I hope you're following the John Stevens Jr. Music uh, Facebook page. And make sure and invite your friends. If you don't know how to do that, uh, you, you, you got to do more than just post it on your page. you got to invite them personally. So I hope that you'll do that. If you got, got any questions, hit me up. Hit Julie or hit my bantering partner, Brene. Say hi real loud because you're behind the speaker. Hello. That's Brene, and she's being really good tonight, Mindy. She's not doing too much of this. She has a tendency, especially when the sports director, who's up in the sports office tonight, is together. They get to talking, and my mind shuts down. So she's doing doing a really good job tonight. So thank you for uh, being my bantering partner. So we got Julie helping us up in Mulberry. My bantering partner, Brene, Dale Davis, right here on the couch. Hey, where are we at in this show? It says, oh, guess what? Here's a song that Julie requested. See, I'm gonna take care of take care of my friends. Your request is coming next week. She goes, it's okay. She goes, I did not. Julie always gets to go first. I did not. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. You might have requested this song too. I know you requested the Lane Anderson song, but you might have requested this one too. But Julie goes, please, please, please play this song. It's one of her favorite, one of my favorite songs too, an old England Dan John Ford Cobley song. Did you request this one too? I requested it. Oh, good. I love, I love it though. But you love it too, me too. Reminds me of like a summertime. It's like, hey, why don't I just call this old friend up and say hello? Mm -hmm. Hello, yeah, it's been a while. Not much. How about you? I'm not sure why I call. I guess I really just want to talk to you Hey, I was thinking maybe later on We could get together for a while It's been such a long time And I really do miss your smile I'm not talking about moving in And I don't want to change your life There's a warm breeze blowing the stars around and I'd really love to see you tonight We could go walking through a windy park Take a drive along the beach Stay at home and watch TV doesn't matter much to me I'm not talking about moving in And I don't want to change your life There's a warm breeze blowing the stars around And I'd really love to see you tonight I won't ask for promises 
life We both played that game before Say I love you, say goodbye I'm not talking about moving in I don't want to change your life There's a warm breeze blowing the stars around And I'd really love to see you Really love to see you Thank you, Alvin Really love to see you tonight that is back when melodies were melodies, the songs of the 70s. And of course, England Dan turned into that country singer, Dan Seals. Always loved his voice. Always loved his voice. Saw Mr. Dickey out there. Thank you for pulling that up, Julie. Rodney Kerr, good to see you. That's a good song. It's not as good as Mr. Bojangles, is it, buddy? That's Rodney's favorite song out there. Gary Fig, I saw you out there. That's right. Always a favorite. Always a favorite. Appreciate that, Gary. Lexi, there's my new friend Lexi. Lexi, I think I think Lexi is from Quincy, Indiana. I think she checked in. I've got a song. I don't know since we're not Facebook friends yet exactly. I don't know whether we are now, but we weren't when I sent you a message. I sent you a message and said, "Hey, I'm gonna play your request tonight." Little King of the Road, Roger Miller, for you later on the show. So thanks for joining us again tonight. BTR, what does she have to say? She's always a good quote up there. She says, "Really love to see you tonight." Great song. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Julie says, thanks for playing my request. Of course. Of course. All right, guys. It's that time of the show. It's that time of the show where we recognize the virtual tippers from last week. So, Julie, if you'll pull them up, I think I put them in there for you. There they go. Last week for the March 4th show, Monday, March the 4th, Becky Pettit snuck in there with a $10 tip from Venmo. Thank you, Becky. I appreciate it. Heike, who's in Germany, Checked in last week with a $10 tip using her Zelle. And, of course, Julie Schultz. Called. I told her, I'm Julie, you don't have to. But she she goes, okay. And she sent $10 using her Venmo. Thank you, DJ and Mindy sent $20 using their Zelle. So thank you guys so much for taking your time to uh, send a virtual tip out there. We're going to let them. They deserve one more time to get their names across there, Julie. I do appreciate when you guys take time to say thank you with a virtual tip. It helps us with this show and and paying for our stream yard and all the different things we have to do to make this thing possible for you guys out there. So thank you for taking time to say thank you, Becky, Heike, Julie, and DJ. Did I get everybody? I think I, there was four of them. I think I got everybody. Hope so. Hope I didn't forget you. Now, if you would like to say thank you, we provided a number of different ways for you to say thank you out there with a virtual tip. If you have a PayPal or Venmo or a Cash App you and the Zelle, you know how all that stuff works, all right? All the usernames, the Apple Pay, my email address, my phone numbers are there. So if you need to, to get that information, it's in the description on this video. And you can also go to my website at johnstevensjuniormusic.com and I'll show you. I'll show you right here. Right here. If you go to my website, there's a tab and you'll end up on this page right here. It's a virtual tip jar and you just follow the instructions and if you'd like to leave a virtual tip, I very much appreciate it. I also want to let you know every now and then some people do things the old fashioned way, Brene and Julie. I got something in the, in the mailbox and it was the weirdest thing. It was like a, like a manila envelope. It was yellow and it was a padded one. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you a clue. It's from Aunt Teresa. Okay. Aunt Teresa. And it wasn't green paper with a picture of a dead president with a bunch of zeros on it like she usually sends. So I thought, Aunt, what the heck is this? You want to see a picture of it? You want to see a picture of what Aunt Teresa sent me? I took it. Check it out. There's a little note. You have to look real close at your screen and I'll read it to you. Here's what Aunt Teresa sent me. <laughs> she says, you seem to use a lot of this on Monday nights. Laugh out loud. You see? <laughs> She sent me some scotch tape. Bless her heart. Now, Aunt Teresa, that I saw the shipping on that. That's some expensive tape. Well, it wasn't expensive, but that there's like five dollars and change to send that scotch tape. But I love you for doing that. Thank you so much, Aunt Teresa. So, like I said, there's all all kinds of ways of saying thank you for me bringing these shows to you. So, Aunt Teresa, she did it with some scotch tape. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's unique. I've I've never received scotch tape in the mail before. That's kind of a first. All right. What we're going to do now, it looks like we're ready to get on song number four. But before we do that, we had people check in. And if you guys haven't done it yet, 
If you would check in, let me know where you're watching from. I really do appreciate it. It helps us out there. Facebook recognizes there's a lot of people commenting. So when you guys comment, when you check in, when you say hi, when you ask me questions, when you send me requests, that really tells Facebook people are paying attention to this video. So you're doing me a favor by checking in. And we always ask if you're watching from out of the country, out of the state, you check in like Hike and Betty usually do. But uh, if you're watching out of state, we'll pull your name up here. But if you're watching from Indiana, we like for you to like do a special request. Like Brene always says, share it a few times, checking in from the Davisdale kitchen. Everybody has their own signature. So you Indiana check-ins be thinking of something special. Let me go here first. Let me go here first. And I think, Julie, I'm looking for my international check-ins. There they are. There they are. There's Miss Betty Corpus. I see you watching from the Philippines. Betty, thank you so much. Betty's friends, we we message each other back and forth from the Philippines. She, we usually talk once or twice a week, and she's always wishing me a good day, and I'm doing the same to her. So, Betty, thank you so much for joining us from the Philippines. I appreciate that. We've got a little bit of an audience down there. Now, our out-of-state checker enters. That's a word of mine. Whoops, I did that wrong, didn't I? Let's go here. Let's go here. Our out-of-state check, our good, our favorite Orpha Wyatt watching up there from South Haven, Michigan, always checks in with us, as does our friend Cindy Adamson. She said, thanks for making Mondays better here in Chicago. Thank you for checking in, Cindy. I appreciate it. She goes, I forgot. She goes, I needed it. That's awesome. David Hunt, he says, hello from Florida. Hope to catch a show when I'm back in May for the 500. Well, David, we hope you come out. We hope you get up on stage and sing a song. David was my co-writer on Permanent Vacation. Dan Malik checked in from in the house down in Tennessee. My fraternity brother, Tim Boswell, says Texas checking in. Donna Sue checked in from Wisconsin. And like I said, the traveling man, David Robbins, this week checked in from Nashville, Tennessee. I guess it was last week. My fraternity brothers, beautiful wife, Sandra Studer. Checked in from Salt Springs, Florida. And speaking of salt, the salt gal checked in all the way from Saltville, Virginia. Julie, if you'll go ahead and run our in-state checker enters out there. If you guys out there, I'm, while this song's going, Julie's going to have you out there. If you checked in last week from Indiana, look for your name, or not your name, but look for your specific check-in in your specific city. I grabbed them out of the comments last week. You guys were busy. There are over 500 different comments that I... I got to go through and read from you, but I appreciate what you do. And whenever you put a special check in and let me know what city that you check in from, you'll get to read it during this part of the show. So Julie's going to let those roll while I sing our next song. And I'm dedicating this song to Aunt Teresa out there. And uh, Barb Mitchell always likes this song too, because Kenny used to like this. And song off my Summer Sessions album that I wrote with my good buddy. Mr. Stan Webb, a little tune called I Almost Stopped Today. When I turned off that blacktop road I used to drive my day, I told myself you're making no mistake. But I just couldn't help but wonder if you might be home. And when I drove by, I didn't know my heart would break Cause I slowed down and saw you with our baby on the swing So I hit the gas and drove on past, just praying you didn't see But I almost stopped today, trying to figure out Just what it is I'm missing can't seem to live without I thought my heart had let you go It didn't love you this way Girl, I almost stopped today You know it's been three weeks Since I've had a drop of alcohol and I've tried my best to show you I can change But I've had the day from hell at work My last nervous shot And that rush hour traffic's driving me insane And then that red light called me right in front of Barney's liquor store I came so close to cheating Like I always did before 
Yeah, I almost stopped today trying to figure out just what it is I'm missing I can't seem to live without You know I thought my heart had let you go It didn't love you this way Girl, I almost stopped today You said to choose It's you or the bottom But I proved today what I'm willing to prove tomorrow. Yeah, I almost stopped today, but I finally figured out just what it is I'm missing. Can't seem to live without. Girl, I thought my heart had let you go. It didn't love you this way. Hey, I almost stopped today, but I didn't, baby. I almost stopped today. It's okay, can I stop tomorrow? Almost stopped today. Yeah, I almost stopped today. One of my favorite Stan Webb songs. Almost stopped today. Aunt Teresa, thank you for that request out there. Hey, I'm going to look in the chat. I got off the chat comments real quick here. You guys are filling it up. Thank you so much. Looks like Pam and Tony has joined us out there. Uh oh, what did Lex? That is a deep song. Thank you so much, Lexi. It kind of is. That's off my Summer Sessions album. I've got four albums out there, and this is a perfect segue, Lexi, because I want to remind everybody to save the date. We're getting real close to announcing some more details, but this summer, June the 15th, the Saturday evening, we're having a new album release party. Details are coming very, very soon, but I have a new album that I've been working on with Dane Clark uh, over in Anderson. Dane's back on the road with Mellencamp now. He wrote a nice little blurb on uh, Facebook. Did you happen to see that yesterday? Yeah, I got a nice little shout out there. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that. But I'm real excited for you to hear that. He's gone on the road, I think, until like the first week of, of uh, April. We got we got a couple more days together before we have to go back out on the road. So we're going to try to get things finished up. And our plan is to have an album release party on June the 15th. So I hope you will save that date. Lexi will be singing lots of songs off my brand new album. And uh, uh, there's 12 of them on there. That's that's all the information I'm given tonight. And I did tell them the song that I played, Those Were the Days. That's one of the songs that you're going to get to hear on that album. So looking forward to sharing more information with you real soon about that. But save the date, June 15th, for my new album release, Pate. It's going to be a Pate. It's not just going to be a show. It's going to be a Pate. So looking forward to that. Let me look in the chat see who is out there. Sandy Saylor says, great song. Sandy, that's really nice of you to say. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Michael Stevens out there. Brene saying, and Pam saying hi to you. Did you see that? Yeah. There's my favorite Barb Dubar out there. I love saying Barb's name. BTR. Oh, look at that. I love that, Gary. Love, love, love John Stevens Jr. Man, can we get that on a billboard? That's that's pretty cool. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate that. Checking in from Lebman says Sandy. And there, Barb always says hi to me and you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. We're together tonight, aren't we? That's right. There's Faye Co Faye's the first time I've seen her in the chat tonight. Kathy Van Cleve over there in New Ross. Thank you for joining us. Andrew Miller. What, what's he asking for? Play the birthday song. Shocker, everybody. Andrew, I don't know that we got any birthdays this week. We sing the birthday song, my friend, at the end of the show. And if we have anybody with a birthday, we'll sing the birthday song. But he always likes to remind me that we're supposed to sing the birthday song. So... Tim Boswell, yes, sir. Hey, Pam, checking in from Nashville. Class of 78. She was the class of 78 Western Boone. Yeah. yeah. Pam, thank you for joining us. Great to see you. I had the honor and privilege of playing at the 1978 class reunion of Western Boone this past, it was last summer, last fall. Last, last fall, I don't know, last year sometime. Last, I, they all run into each other, but it was a fun night. It was a fun night. 
So, Pam, thanks for joining us out there and watching from Nashville, Tennessee. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What, what is this? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Aunt, what's this? Aunt Teresa? Is that is that a mad sign? Is Aunt Teresa mad? Oh, because there's a fight going on in Indianapolis at, at the Taco Bell. And then oh, okay. Okay. So, a little stuff that don't have anything to do yeah. with our show. Okay. Yeah. David Belcher, good to see you. Donna Sue, good to see you, too. Okay. All right. Well, let's get on to the next show. Next song in the show. Oh, this one is for Mindy. And then I'm going to tell you about where I'm going to be playing this week. I, I don't know who's in charge of my schedule, but we need to have a talk. Because Thursday through Saturday is a blur. A lot of driving, a lot of traveling, a lot of singing, not much sleeping. Need to have that talk to that person. You want me to get the mirror? Huh? You want me to get a mirror for you? Oh, you want me to get a mirror? Oh, you're saying it's me? Here's one for Mindy Harrison out there. I feel tears welling up cold deep inside like my heart's gonna be a bleed. And it's dead and lonely and sharp and painful. Damn, I'm trying to shame. You might say I was taking it hard since you broke me off with a call. But don't you wager that I'll take your sorrow. I break that damn ball. Now the race is on, and here comes pride of the back stretch. Heartaches going to the inside. My tears are holding back, and trying not to fall. My heart's out of a run, and true love's left for another sake. The race is on, and it looks like heartache, and the winner. Dancing Larry right now, he's all over. You guys will have to help me. I got a question for you after this song, all right? One day I ventured in love, never once suspecting what the final result would be. Have a live fear, wake up each morning, finding that you're gone from me. The aching pain in my heart for today was the one I hated to face. Somebody new came up to win her, I wound up in second place. Now the race is on and here comes pride up the back stretch. Heartaches going to the inside, my tears are holding back there. is on and it looks like heartache and the winner loses on and the winner loses on the race is on now let me ask you guys in the quest the question in the chat do you like George Jones version of that or Sawyer Browns, all right? Remember, Sawyer Brown did a cover of that, but George Jones was the first one. Who did it best? Who did it best? I have to tell you, I like both of them, but I kind of like Sawyer Browns had a little energy to it. But that, if you remember back, back in the 80s when they did that, man, they were like, these guys ain't country. What the heck are these guys? But I kind of like that song. What do you guys think? Do you like George Jones' version of The Race is On, or do you like Sawyer Brown? I'd like to know out there in the chat. So, with that being said, oh, Sawyer Brown, did you see that? Sawyer Brown, because Mark can dance. Well, I, I could dance too, but I'd, I'd be out of the screen, so, you know, I'm, I didn't want to show off tonight. Mm -hmm. Becky comes to know, Becky knows I can dance. She, well, anyway. Like no other, like no other, that's right. So, well, thank you guys for letting me know whether you like George Jones or whether you like the Sawyer Brown version. Hey, the race is on. Let's look and see where I'm going to be this week. And I think I got to go right here. Oh, you know what I, you know what I forgot to do? I'll show you right now. Because there's only one. There's three songs left, but I forgot to pull the set list up tonight. We sang already. Fire Away by Chris Stapleton. Those were the days. A song off my new album. I really love to see it. Oh, T-Night. Who did that typo? Do you see that? 
I really love to see you tonight. That's me. Third grade was the hardest three years of my life. I didn't have my spell checker out on that. Anyway, uh, almost stopped today. The race is on is what we just sang. But coming up, Pete Arkmo's got a request for Recklessly and Innocent. Again, Lexi's king of the road. Chris Smith wants to hear she loves Peyton Manning more than me. That's what we got coming up. All right. You saw the up. But where am I going to be this week? Well, this is this week's schedule. Like I said, I got to talk to the guy in charge. Of course, tonight we're doing, our, as always, our Made It Through Monday live stream show. Thursday, I'm headed down to Jasper, to JR's Bar. We have been having just some fantastic Thursday nights down there and so much fun. Hope you guys will come down and join us. And then Friday morning, for all you that uh, get a wild hair in your in your gas tank. Come see me and see more. Cousin Tina, my cousin Tina McBride has opened up McBride and Cosaint Solutions in Seymour, Indiana, investment and insurance company. So they're having a ribbon cutting ceremony and I have to be there ready to sing at 11 o'clock, which means I have to be there at 10 o'clock, which means I have to leave French Lake by eight, which means I have to get up by 6.15 which means when I get home at 1231, I'll get like this much sleep. But I can't wait to do it. I can't wait to do it. <laughs> and then when we get done with that, we're doing that Friday until one. And then guess what? Friday night, we're headed back to the West Side, Vinny's Drive Bar. So come on down to the West Side, right up from 8 Second Saloon there on Lynnhurst uh, Avenue. Love to see you guys at Vinny's Drive Bar. Always a fun night there. Friday night and then Saturday, St. Patrick's Day, and you know what else it is? What's St. Patrick's Day is the it's 17th. Not, it's the time it's Sunday. Yeah, well, that's okay. That's different, Julie. I was saying it's St. Patrick's Day, and it's not because I looked at that. You know what? You know what the big holiday is on March 16th? It's my daughter Chrissy's birthday, but not till not till Saturday. But I will be at the Moose in Beach Grove. Whoops, went to the wrong one. Let's go right here. No, still the wrong one. This is what I meant to do. Beach Grove on Saturday night. Open to the public. I hope you guys, if you're on the south side, in that fun room, big stage there. We always have a great time. So come on out to the Moose. All these events are on the John Stevens Jr. Music Facebook page. Also on my website at johnstevensjrmusic.com. So if you want to find out where you can catch a John Stevens show, go to those places out there. And of course, good Lord, when the creek don't rise next Monday, we'll be right back here for another Made It Through Monday live stream show. Okay, I think I covered that. How are we doing on time? I'm doing pretty good, aren't I? Mm -hmm. I got time to like bloviate a little bit. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> Never mind. We, we won't do that. We'll think about it. <laughs> All right. I still can't believe this. I've never seen this before. Have, did, can you back out and go to the John Stevens Jr. Music page, my Facebook page? Do you guys, are you guys seeing that? Is that just something I'm, because I've never seen this before. Yep, I'm seeing it. You're seeing it too? I think that's a new feature. Do you ever remember seeing that? I don't remember. Yeah. So, well, that's pretty cool, Facebook. So anyway, on the John Stevens, not my personal page, but the music page. Got a little live sign. Very neat. All right. Well, let's see if I could jump back in here. There I am. Better turn him down because he's going to start right. Okay, he's in. All right. And let me get back into the comments. And then I got a song. We sang Those Were the Days, which was kind of one of those songs about the good old days. My buddy Pete Arkimo asked for uh, another song about the good old days. Only this, this one's a little different. These were the good old days that when one of your children got their driver's permit and you had to sit in the passenger seat while they took control of your life. <laughs> That's not easy to do, is it? And I think we've had that discussion. I remember, I remember Coach Rosenstiel was my driver's head. He He's yours too. Yeah. Coach Rosenstiel was mine. And um, I can remember after I got my driver's license where I could go out the very first time, the very first night that dad let me take the car out of the house. It was raining. The windshield wipers are going back and forth. It was dark. it was after dark. I took the white Catalina out, and Witchy Woman was playing. And woo -hoo, Witchy Woman, and the windshield wipers were almost keeping perfect time. You know, was, never forget that. Never forget that. Well, that's one thing. But if you were ever a parent and you had one of your youngsters over there 
taking their life in your hands. That's what this song's about. Another song that I wrote with my good buddy, Mr. Stan Webb. I guess he was thinking about his daughter and I was thinking about mine as we wrote this one together. This one is another song off the Summer Sessions album called Living Recklessly and Innocent Again. Pete Arkabo, thank you for this request. Drive to two hands below the wheel When she turns the corner the front tires squeal Cause she's driving my four toys way too fast So got the radio turned up real wild And I'm fixing her hair while I'm washing out From when she reflecting on my past Cause I used to be there, you know, see My whole life from me Not ever dreaming any day But all could end yeah, there's a part of me that wishes I was still 16 Living recklessly and innocent again I wanna ditch my job Buy myself a hog and ride to Sturgis, South Dakota in the spring I wanna play guitar for some Nashville star I wanna live the fairy tale, dream all my dreams Man, I want to play truth or dare I want to grow long hair Go every place around the world I've never been Man, I want to live I want to learn I want to crash I want to burn Living recklessly and innocent again Down the interstate and every car inside she's blown away and I'm trying my best inside to hide my grin but there's blue lights flashing up ahead so she hits the brakes and says hey dad will they ever let me drive a car again but as they wave us right on by I feel the spirit I recognized reminding me of everything I could have been I'm I'm still alive, I'm gonna show the world while well, there's still time Hey, I'm living recklessly and innocent again I wanna ditch my job Buy myself a hog and not start just South Dakota in the spring I wanna play guitar for my Nashville stars I wanna live the fairy tale, dream all my dreams I want to play truth or dare I want to grow long hair Go every place around the world I've never been And I want to live I want to learn I want to crash I want to burn Living recklessly and innocent again I want to live I want to learn I want to crash I want to burn Living recklessly and innocent again Pete, thank you so much for requesting that song. My daughter's birthday is coming up Saturday. Made me a little sentimental thinking about that. So thank you for that request out there. Gosh, she's, well, she, she don't have Facebook. She's too cool for Facebook. She'll be 34. How in the heck did she get to be 34? She's not there yet, but wow. How did that happen? Yeah, I know, I know. It happens, it happens. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Hey, do me one more favor. Do me one more favor if you haven't yet. Even if you have, would you share this video out there? Share it with your friends. Tag somebody who's not with us tonight and say, hey, you're missing a good time tonight. We do this each and every Monday night, so we do appreciate if you take time to share. If you're watching on YouTube, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you're on X out there, I'll have to look at the comments. X comments don't show up here, but that's okay. We are glad that you're with us. And who knows? If you're watching on threads on Instagram, there could be some comments there too, because they won't show up this way either. But thank you guys for joining us. I appreciate this. Wait a minute. I got to pull this up. Mary says, love this song. Can remember those days. Yeah, Mary. Those were the days for sure. Uh huh. All right. It's time to do a song for Lexi Stid Mosier. Lexi, 
I think, now Lexi might have joined us before, but it was the first time that I saw her in the chat last week. So, or remember seeing her. So, Lexi, I'm going to sing a Roger Miller song for you that you requested. I want to make sure. That makes Brene happy too. See, everybody's playing songs that Brene would normally request. So, it's working pretty good. All right. So, Lexi, thanks for that. Hey, you guys, do me a favor. Do me a favor. If you have a song that you'd like me to play, like me to cover it, and Mindy, no, we've, we've done our Taylor Swift, and uh, probably not a pink song for a minute, but uh, if you guys have some special songs, yeah, make sure then put them in the uh, chat there. And there's my buddy, Michael Stevens. Look at that. He's, he's on it. He's got like yeah. the VH1s behind the scenes. Thank goodness for that internet, man. You just click that button, pull it right up. Thanks, Michael. I appreciate it. I'll have to read that after a while, buddy. Lexi, if you ever come to one of my live shows, I always tell everybody if, if um, oh, look at that. I, okay, good. I'm, I'm glad. She goes, me, yes, last week was my first show. Well, we are so glad that you come back and joined us. And uh, she's getting spoiled today. I'm playing a song for her, her second appearance. That don't usually happen. No, that doesn't. I usually make girls wait a little bit, Lexi. So you should feel special. You should feel special out there. So, um, anyway, make sure you have shared this. Make sure, sure you've hit the like and love button out there. We got more people watching than like and I think some people dropping the ball on the like and loves. Would you guys make sure back out and hit the like and loves out there? I appreciate it. Lexi, here's one for you. Trailers for sale on rent. Rooms let 50 cents. No phone, no pool, no bets. I ain't got no cigarettes, you see. Two hours push your room but I a eight by twelve four bedroom. I'm a man of means by no means king of the road. Third box car, midnight train, destination finger man. I don't pay no union dues. I smoke old stogies. I have found, you know those ones. Kind of short, not too big around. I'm a man of means, by no means. Thank you, Teresa, king of the road. Oh, this is such a classic song, isn't it? Iconic. Good request out there, Lexi. Appreciate it. Hey, I'm no every engineer on every train. All of their children and all of their names. And every handout in every town. Every lock that ain't locked when no one's around, you see. Trailers for sale rent. Rooms to let 50. I'm a man of means, by no means, king of the road, king of the road, just a king of the road. Roger Dodger Miller, thanks out there. Guys, I'm watching all your comments out there while they're coming in. Thank you for all the... All the great comments. Appreciate that out there. Thank you, Kara. Lexi goes, I've been singing this song since I was 10 years old. All right. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Nice job. All right. Looks like we're going to get some prayer requests out there. I'll have to catch up. I didn't see, but it looks like we got some prayer requests out there for Sandy Sailor. If I'm uh, kind of catching up on the chat a little bit. A lot of people send things. I don't see everything as they come by, so if I miss you, but uh, it looks like that's what's going on. But Vicki Turner said, VTR said, my grandfather used to sing and play guitar to this one. You bet. Well, thank Lexi. She's the one that requested it, right? Been singing it since I was 10. That's pretty good, Lexi. That's pretty cool. Well, guys, thank you so much. Julie, did you see anybody with a birthday out there this week? I didn't have anybody on my list, so... I know next week I'm letting the cat out of the bag and we're going to sing happy birthday to her next week. Don Brown's birthday is tomorrow. But I told her, now, 
We will celebrate your birthday and sing happy birthday to you if it happens between tonight's show and next Monday's show. So, Don, we got you on the list for next week. And if you got a birthday coming up, make sure and let me know. And make sure don't tell me it's your dog's birthday or your second cousin from Albuquerque, New Mexico. We want to sing happy birthday to people that are in our chat out there. Or else I'd be doing nothing but singing happy birthday. Because we all got somebody to celebrate birthdays too, don't we? So if you're a regular member out there and you've got a birthday coming up, we'd like to say thank you for joining us and happy birthday to you. But no birthdays tonight, but we do have one more song and uh, one more little prayer request from my buddy, Mr. Chris Smith over there in Anderson. Chris has had a rough go of it and he was getting ready to move to Lafayette. I, I, I sent him a message today, but I didn't talk. I don't know if he's moved to Lafayette yet, but I know he was in Anderson the last time that we talked on the phone together, and he's got some health issues going on. But Chris, we're thinking about you, and Chris is a regular out there, so um, he asked for She Loves Peyton Manning More Than Me. A little song that got me on the Bob and Tom show a few years ago. Got us in TV all over Indianapolis and out in Denver, and actually the Super Bowl was in New York that year, so we were on the local TV channels in New York, all over the radio, CNN, HeadlineNews.com, all over their website with a crazy little song about girls in love with Peyton Manning, and all of us guys has got to put up with those girls. So, Chris, thank you for that request. A little tune called She Loves Peyton Manning More Than Me. Well, my girl, she's a football fan. She knows the rules. She understands. She cheers, she drinks, cusses, yells, screams. She says her heart still bleeds coach blue. But I ain't sure down deep it's true. Cause she always moves the loudest of old 18. It's always Peyton, Peyton, Peyton. Peyton, Peyton, Peyton. That girl lives in Wonderland or what used to be. It's always Peyton, Peyton, Peyton. All she talks about, Peyton, Peyton, Peyton. I think she loves Peyton Manning more than me. You know, when I picked her up for our first date, I should've known I'd never take his place. I'd always be the backup in her heart. She find his posters, fat hats, and coffee cups. Not a single picture of Andrew Luck. A license plate go Peyton on his car. It's always Peyton. Peyton, Peyton, yeah, it's Peyton, Peyton, Peyton. I can't take much more of this girl's fantasy. It's always Peyton, Peyton, Peyton. All she talks about, Peyton, Peyton, Peyton. I think she loves Peyton man and more than me. You know, by the time I got ready to sing this last verse and write it for now, I'd had all I could take. I was ready to give it to her. She says Peyton's smart, Peyton's cool, Peyton's cute, Peyton rules, can't say his name without a smile on her face. She says Peyton's this and Peyton's that, well I'm tired of all this Peyton crap, she ought to pack her bags and move to Peyton's place. Cause it's always Peyton, 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 yeah it's Peyton, 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 that girl lives in Wonderland or what you it's always Peyton, Peyton, Peyton. Yeah, it's Peyton, Peyton, Peyton. I think she loves Peyton Manning more than me. She loves me, but she can't confess he's number one and I'm second best. She loves Peyton Manning more than me. Becky, we sure had a lot of fun with that. We got to be on TV and radio, a lot of radio stations around central Indiana. Got to be on the Smiley in the Morning Show. Got to be on Bob and Tom. Like I said, a lot of local TV, Fox 59, Channel 13. It was a fun season. That, that little song just kind of had a life of its own. And everybody on the planet, I think, unless, uh, unless you were a Seattle Seahawks fan that year, was rooting for Peyton to win the Super Bowl. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining for you. Joining me for another Made It Through Monday live stream show. Chris Smith, hope you get to feeling better. And uh, hope to see you guys real soon at a John Stevens show. Appreciate you all taking time to join us. If you would, if you would, make sure you've shared this with a, a nice group. 
nice good size group. We appreciate you, you doing it. I think last week we had about 1,500 views, which is great. We appreciate you guys taking time to join us. Send me your request. Tell me what you'd like to have. You know, John Stevens made it through Monday live stream show. What you'd like to see more of? What you'd like to see me do less of per day? You think I need to do less of this or did I do pretty good tonight? You did pretty good tonight. Yeah, because it's just, I got like 11 seconds left and I'm done. Except for our fun Nile song. Guys, thank you for joining me. Let's sing this one on the way out. You ready? Turn out the lights. Party's over. They say that all good things must end. Turn out the lights. You know the party's over. We'll see you down the road next Monday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and we'll do it all again. Say goodnight, John Boy. One more thing. One more thing. I want you all in the chat out there. How do you like the changing of the clock? Are you a fan of it, Brene? No. Really? I mean, I like longer time in summer. But why don't... It's just a pain to... She votes no. I vote yes. I like it. I like it. I like having more daylight to do I like stuff. Having more daylight. Yeah. Oh, now she's now she's no, backtracking. I, I ask her. Now she's trying to explain her position. No, I like having more daylight. I just don't want to fall back. Yeah. You mean yeah. later on? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the pluses and minuses. I get it. I get it. That's the downside, isn't it? What do you guys think out there? Are you a fan of the time change, or you just wish it was the same way all year round? Let me know. Julie, thank you so much for helping me up there in Mulberry. I appreciate it. Brene, thank you for being my bantering partner. Again, one more night. I didn't see any scores from Brenda up there in the sports desk. And yeah, well, she'll jump in on the replay too. See, that's when we usually see Brenda. Guys, thank you for spending your night with me. And uh, Orpha, thank you so much. She goes, love to hear this song. Glad you like it. <laughs> oh, DJ, I only got DJ got all my requests and I didn't get one song. See, I'm already getting grief. You don't know how hard it is being me. I took all week join to put. The club, DJ. Oh, Brene says join the club, DJ. I promise to get to your request. Except, did you see the songs DJ was requesting last week? It was like songs that Mama's not supposed to ever remember. How you oh, told him yes. this was a family show, it's so. A family show. DJ, I will do that. It's going to be a paid subscription show, though. $25, and I'll play all the songs that you want. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. DJ, I'll get to some of your requests next week. Guys, good night. Don Brown, look at there. There she is. She hung around. She asked me. She goes, John, my birthday's tomorrow. And I said, Don, we'll sing it next week. So, Don, we're definitely going to be singing happy birthday to you next week. So, you don't want to miss out. Guys, I'm going to let you go. See you down the road. Good night, everybody.